The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma. Company Lisi Development finished distinctive architectural project Lisi Green Tower. The project is created by the world famous Dutch architectural company Yuan Studio. Yuan Studio owns such diverse projects around the world as Mercedes Benz Museum, the Beethoven Concert Hall in Germany, and many others. Lisi Green Tower is a 10 story premium class residential building that includes 25 apartments. The stained glass facade of the building makes it possible for every apartment to have a panoramic view of Tbilisi. The total investment of the project amounts to 13 million USD. The building is located in the second district of largest residential complex, Green City Lisi, which is distinguished by the unique principle. It means that 80% of the project is covered by greenery and the additional infrastructure is occupied by buildings. Lisi Development has been a leading development company in Georgia for 13 years. The company steadily continues its activities on new projects both in Tbilisi and Ajaro region. Seeker 001 electric car of premium brand of Geely Holding is now available in Georgia. The electric car was introduced by Auto Gallery, a company included in Tegeta Cars. Seeker, part of Geely Group, produces fully electric vehicles. The first electric car model Seeker 001 was officially released in 2021. This car combines sporty character and excellent exterior. The electric car has 544 horsepower. Zeker 001 can travel 646 kilometers with one full charge. It takes over four seconds to accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers. Yamaha audio system creates more comfort. The car is equipped with modern safety systems, which safety systems were designed and integrated into the vehicle inspired by the Swedish Volvo. Auto Gallery, part of Tegeta Holding, has been operating on the Georgian market since 2018. A wide selection of both new and used vehicles is represented in the multi-brand showroom. In addition to eco-friendly cars, the company also imports exclusive cars since 2020. Auto Gallery is the official partner and porter of electric mopeds on the Georgian market. Galeria Tbilisi declares that the number of customers has decreased. According to Nino Adwashvili, the head of company's communication service, the number of daily users decreased from 15,000 to 13,000 in recent months. According to her, there is a 10% decrease in tourist visits as well. In the current period, the customer's traffic is lower compared to other months. However, this number is not radically reduced. If the daily number of customers equal to 15,000, now the number amounts to 30,000 per day, which was not a radical decrease. In general, we had an expectation regarding the lower activity during this month. We hope that these indicators will change, says Nino Adwashvili, head of communication series of Galeria Tbilisi. Galeria Tbilisi makes a positive assessment regarding 2024. According to Nino Adwashvili, after the slowdown in quarter one and quarter two, there is an expectation of growth for quarter three and four. The shopping center Galeria Tbilisi built on Rusovoli Avenue in Tbilisi was opened by Vidina Ivanishvili's Co-Investment Fund in 2017. The Co-Investment Fund began construction of multifunctional shopping mall in 2015. The total investment amounted to 90 7 million USD. A new five-star hotel and casino will be built in the building of former Ministry of Communications at Rustaveli Avenue. The real estate is located on a land plot of over 3,000 square meters and the head office of Georgian Airways is located in the building currently standing on it. The owner of the real estate is Elsim Marili 2020, which 100% shareholder is the founding partner of Georgian Airways, Tamar Gayashvili. The building will keep its historical appearance from the side of Rusovoli Avenue. In total, the building will have 10 floors. A circular courtyard will be located in the middle of the new building. In addition to the casino, commercial spaces will also be placed in the new complex. Georgia Home Textile Manufacturing Company Zazetari offers customers a variety of sheets, towels, pyjamas and bed linen. As the founder of the brand Maria Mahladiani told BMDG, the demand for their product is increasing year on year. According to her, the 
products are sold in Waki showroom for the last year. However, customers can also buy the products online through various platforms. According to her, in terms of online sales, regions are significantly active. This year, the brand is planning to enter the shopping mall in Tbilisi. Demand is increasing year on year. Customers like the fact that we produce Georgian products. We try to find space in shopping mall for the new showroom. In the next two, three months, we should add a new collection with new types of fabrics, such as, for example, canvas, says Akladiani. In the future, the company plans to create its own enterprise, but at this stage, it's only an idea. No other details are made public. Home textile manufacturing brand Zazatari has been operating on the Georgian market since 2021. The, to launch the production line, the initial investment of the brand amounted to 20,000 lari. Pizzeria Paza is expanding. The new branch will be opened in Gdani district early in March this year due to the great demand on the product. Keto Papawa, co-founder of Paza, told TV program Women's Narrative, this will be quite a large branch, the largest we have had so far, which will host customers in Gdani district from March, Keto Papawa said. According to her, the investment made in the Gdani branch amounts to 100,000 lari, which is a bank loan. Keto Papawa explains that in connection with the opening of new branch, it's planned to increase the staff number and 10 people will be employed in the Gdani branch. The goal of Baza is to offer customers a variety of street food, but at the beginning they focus on pizza. Currently, Baza offers customers 10 types of pizza, the prices of which range from 20 lari to 29 lari. Pizzeria Baza has been operating on the Georgian market since 2019. Currently, two branches of Baza are operating in Ngorohwa and Gagarini streets, while the third branch of Pizzeria will be welcome customers in Gdani from March. Takara is the first Georgian restaurant that started operating at Kutaisi International Airport. The facility is located on the second floor of the departure hall and is the first La Carte restaurant in the airport, which offers guests a wide selection of Georgian dishes. The general manager of the restaurant, Nina Benashvili spoke about Takara in TV program Women's Narrative. Restaurant Takara was officially opened on February 14. The investment made for the opening reached 1 million lari. At this stage, the restaurant employs about 40 locals. Prior to the official opening of our restaurant has been operating in Kutaisi International Airport since last December in a test mode. We are constantly in observation mode. We listen to our customers. We take into account their opinion and said Nina Benashvili. According to her, this is the first facility of Takara, although the company is planning to expand and the next facility of Takara will probably open in Ajara in the near future. Miskuzi opened a school of roller skating where training began on February 26. Mariam Kemoklid, the co-founder of the brand, told TV program Miss Narrative. The learning process in Miskuzi lasts for one month. The lessons will be held by a professional and experienced trainer. Courses at Miskuzi School consist of four or eight lessons. The price ranges from 120 lari to 200 lari, respectively. The rental fee of the roller is not included in the cost, which amounts to 40 lari. Production of eco-friendly, colorful lower rollers under the brand of Miskuzi in Georgia started in 2022. At this stage, about 100 rollers are produced per month. The founder of Miskuzi says that they fully meet the demand in the local market and can compete with the imported products. Natural juice production company Alalik, located in Telavi, produces 27 types of products. As the founder of the company, Gocha Guinepadze, told BMDG last year was very active for them. According to him, they took part in many exhibitions last year, including Qatar, the USA, Azerbaijan, Germany, and Saudi Arabia. As a result of the exhibitions, negotiations are currently underway with Azerbaijan. The contract with Saudi Arabia has already been signed. The company also plans to enter U.S. market. At this stage, the process of solving logistical issues is underway. This year, we will add at least two or three exporting markets, Grinipadze said. According to him, it's planned to enter the Horeca sector this year, for which negotiations have already started with Tel Aviv and Tbilisi Hotels. The natural juice production company Alali has been operating in the market since 2019 and is located in Tel Aviv. 27 types of products are produced in the enterprise, which 
which are sold both on local and international markets. At this stage, the enterprise employs up to 25 people. The company buys the raw materials from the local farmers. The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma.